Hey guys, what's up? Vicious here. Today I'm going to be doing another Minecraft tutorial for you. Uh, this one's going to be on the rail systems, the minecart tracks. Now, if you've been reading the patch notes and staying current with your Minecraft knowledge, you know that the most popular way to make really long and extravagant trail systems was with the uh, booster carts, where you basically have a glitch that causes one cart to push another cart at maximum speed. Uh, but the owners of the, the creators of the game have been trying to phase that out. They're eventually going to make sure that it's not there. And you're going to have to move on to the new way to do this, which is these powered rails. And so that is ultimately where we're going to have to all end up. And if you've been using the old system, now's the time to learn how to do it the new way. So now that you're going to be using redstone to do this, with all things redstone, there's always a very easy way to do it and a very complicated way to do it. And I've been messing around for a few days and I came up with my own techniques and methods for this and I'm going to share them with you now in this tutorial. So the first thing is when it comes to minecarts, one thing I've never been a, a fan of is putting the cart on the track, pushing it and then jumping in. I just do not like that because it's too easy to miss the cart and have it run away from you. So I devised a launching system. This is a really cool but yet very easy system. It's just one of the powered rails going up a block, terminating into a solid block, and then that solid block has a button on it. So you're using very minimal resources and it's very easy for everyone to use. So you push the button and it powers the rail just for a second. Now if you have your cart on the track and you get in the cart, you can actually push the button while you're in the cart. So this is the other reason I like it. This is an advance forward after I had came up with a delay system where you push a button it would take like five seconds for it to activate the tra track and you would uh, you'd have to get in the cart and wait for it and that was as efficient. So let me show you how to make this real quick. It's, it's so easy. Put your powered rail down like this so that it connects. Go ahead and break off the top piece and that's where you put a block and then you put a button in it. That's what you got. And not only works as a launching system, but when your cart is returning to this area, it's going to work as a really great cart catching system. Now using the exact same idea for the launching system, I've also created an inline junction system. So if you're expanding your track and you find a new area you need to go to, you can create a switch in the middle of your track that will let you go to a new area. This is a, a much better alternative to having to have the switch at your launching station because you might have to build a lot more track that way. And it's a lot better than just having a switch in the middle of your track that you might pass by and not be able to hit in time. So here's the first junction right here. See what just happened? My cart stopped for me. I'm looking at a switch that I can press while I'm in the cart to change the track and a button to launch me, just like we had at the start. Let me hop out here, show you what this looks like. My server is lagging so bad right now. I'm like training out of the cart and it's taking like five minutes. This is letting me out of the cart. Oh well. I'll just tell you about it. So basically, the switch here, it's just running some redstone wire around right the back, down some steps, and then right underneath at the junction point, there's a redstone torch. So when you hit the switch, it changes it over. The button is just like it was at the launching station, except instead of being right next to the cart, it's one block forward and then redstone wire over. This is so that it's easier to push these while you're in the cart. So we're gonna go new spawn, switch down, press the button, and we're on our way. Take one more short ride for you. Go ahead and go. Hit a junction here. Now I got double junctions because the problem with the junction switches is I can choose which path I want to go going out, but when I'm coming back, I can't. So that's why when I swept in this way and went down and around, I got to choose again whether I want to come back to the spawning area over here or go off to the new area that we have called Deagle Island. So we'll go right back to the old spawn, which is the switch up position. 
press the button to go. So with that, with using very minimal resources, we were able to have a very effective cart launching system, cart stopping system, and make a very efficient inline um, track selection system. So the only thing I need to point out you need to be careful of is your speed. Using only a single uh, booster rail without power to stop your cart will not work if you're going too quickly. So you want to make sure you test your track going both directions to make sure that the speed is appropriate. And once you've got it tested out and it works, you're good to go. Also like doing dispensers with the carts. You don't have to keep it in your inventory and if someone else doesn't have a cart, they can just press and get one. It's pretty cool. So that was all for this tutorial, guys. Hope you found it useful. And if you would like to see some more, just comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see what I can do for you.